Wah, hello beautiful. Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you how to model a realistic tiling in Revit. Typically, we have a few main ways to make that. Firstly, we can use our curtain panel family to model it and secondly we can model it by curtain panel part turn best and the lastly is adapt to component is the most common sense but obviously I prefer model it by curtain panel part turn best since most of my tutorial is focusing on four point adaptive anyway let's jump into our project together we will quick overview and quick model together Okay, so here we are in Revit architecture template is a kitchen model and for our wall tiling I prefer model for our kitchen area because basically it's on our floor tiling it's just a flat one and on our wall on the kitchen area our tiling is quite interesting because as you can see here when I zoom in because some preview here as you can see the spacing here here you can see like this okay so i think we will model realistic tiling on our kitchen area is quite interesting than our flooring because our flooring we just using a flat one so now it's time to model it firstly i'm going to our file us away then go to new we need to open a new project first i will quick model it just model only our tiling here it's okay one i done that revit will be transformed me to another page and some more our tiling is our parametric as well and again we go to our file because we open a new project for revit architecture template already we need to create our family to apply with our mass environment first thing you need to using what kind of concept that you want and what kind of family that you want first thing about the concept and about the family as i introduced them, we got three main way but i prefer using for curtain panel pattern best thing most of my tutorial is about the curtain panel pattern best so if you want more in depth about the curtain panel pattern best or adaptive component or four point adaptive you can take a look on my previous tutorial because a lot of them is about facade design and pattern okay so here is my curtain panel pattern best what i'm going to do next is light us away we need to adjustment our panel first make its accurate size and i have site on internet already for our kitchen tiling the smaller one i will make it for in millimeter 112.5 and for vertical spacing i will make it smaller also just make it 29 it's a standard size in my country for one tiling in kitchen area one i done that it's time to model it first thing i need to go to our create tab then go to point i think we need to set a plan first set for horizontal like this and set per point i will just leave plus like this hit a get then i can select one of my point here like this then i will straight away move it sorry we need to move it on v for shortcut key then i just move it for two millimeter I think okay then I'm going to offset it for two millimeter for offset here make it for two then of course I will apply it for parametric as well just make it for simple name make it for offset like this hit okay once I done that my model is going up as you can see here then here I need to move it two millimeter or so on V again for shortcut key just tie it out for two millimeter hit a sketch then now we can copy this like here then co for copy i will start from here yep until here let's see how 70 is when then we minus 2 is 25 just tie 25 like this hit a sketch then we can copy to another side it's like here one and hold control key for multiple selection start from front view over there then going to copy it co for copy we will start from here like this then until the second point we want to see how we need to deduct 100 and 110.5 so 108.5 i think it's a correct hit a get as you can see here now we got our four point those four point is parametric as well as you can see here i will assign here 
just simply assign here or it will be become a parametric but i don't want to play around with that i will just simply assign it and model is more quickly rsrp okay it's okay again it's time to draw that i'm going to our create tab then go to rectangle like this make sure you turn off for 3d snapping or you can make it for 3d snapping sorry if you didn't set your work plan yet as you can see here when we use a 3d snapping cannot becoming a rectangle set so i maybe hit escape a couple of time first then we need to set our work plan set a plan set for horizontal here for this point like this hit a tab key for change direction or set our plan then go to our rectangle again turn off for 3d snapping i will start from here as you can see here now become more easy already like this hit a sketch then i can select from the bottom one and the top one create form and select form as you can see here we got a simple tiling already then it's time to apply for material parameter you just like all of your surface here then go to our property panel material tab create a new material then for this one i prefer for y color because the for the kitchen area the y color is the best for my concept so i like the clean environment actually then i'm going to rename it for tiling just make it for tile then go to our appearance library we choose whatever material that we want i prefer using for this one lbs5 it's okay it's apply then i know what os material that i will got so i will be skip this pass i don't want to wait for other tin it's okay then assign for new material parameter create new material parameter make it for tile like this is okay the reason we create our material and finishing from here because later on when we load into our project easier to adjustment when we want to change a material or duplicate for a different layer so i'm going to load in just load in and of course if you are the first time here you need to sell your file first but i got my previous one already i will skip the pass and part two project one is okay one i pass that i can create our tiling already some more is a parametric i will quick way skip this pass i just draw back our tiling here then for the kitchen area and lighting those kind of some those kind of kitchen area and fresh and our lighting or dining table here i will put link in description so you can download from that make sure you check out my description go back to my 3d here sorry go to level one here then i'm going to our let's create a 2d line first i think we done it just straight away go to massing and side then go to in plus mass it's okay start from here then i'm going to start from track one make it for 10 meter hit a sketch then i'm going to select here like this just create form solid form then i just go to my okay let me go to my 3d here then i can start from front here let's extend it until our level 2 i think 10 meter is too big just make it for 4 meter okay then i can select all of them like this then the y surface make sure when your device surface your u grill and v grill is fit with your previous design in pattern environment curtain panel pattern environment so i'm going to change it to um for this then then i will make it for basically our top one is 100 112.5 so i will make it for 29 make our u grill 29.0 then just drop down finding to another pass change it to fit distance as well 102.5 like this supply as you can see here then now it's time to apply that simply drop down on your pattern here because basically here is a no pattern then finding for our family one 
when I apply that rabbit will be take up two second for keep generating okay so as you can see here we got our realistic tiling already some more it's got something there as well and when you see the joining here is finite that's how you can model your realistic tiling in Revit. I don't want to explain too much because it's just a small case because sometimes you don't want to make your file too heavy. You might be use a texture because the texture got a different function and some more when you render it, you just using Lumia or Enscape or Twinmotion, the texture will be transformed to a realistic. But if you want to make your realistic for presentation and more interesting, you might be need to follow my mentors or Otherwise, you can follow another YouTuber. They talk about how to model tiling in Revit, like Lainey Koji or Bakar Architect. It depends on what you want to follow. Okay, guys, I think it's pretty much for this tutorial because I just give you a quick concept or quick instruction to make your realistic tiling. And thank you guys for joining me from start to finish. And if you want the project file, make sure you check back my description. I will put link to that and you can download from that thank you guys for watching and again if you are first time here make sure hit subscribe button below and click the bell icon for turn on notification your like and your subscriber is motivate me to bring more professional content about Revit and bring more detail link about Revit thank you for watching and I see you for another tutorial and have a nice day thank you